Flame Painter 3 Pro Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add a flame effect to some text. Now, this text has been created in Photoshop. It was just a PNG file with a transparent background. So I've just got this design now with fire. So what I'm going to do, just go over to this layer. What I want is to add a new layer. So new layer. And now just going to select that layer and move it down. So that's the background layer. What I want to do now is actually add some color to that, actually black. So I'm just going to go to the fill tool, just select the fill, set the color to black. Otherwise you end up having an orange background, which is perfectly reasonable as well. So, okay, got that. Now, what I want to do now is just go to the flame tool. It's over in the brushes. Got there, the brush tool. And I've got, obviously it's got its default settings. But I'm going to modify those in a little while. But I'm just going to add a general, just very loose flame at the background, so you can actually see the text again. So I'm just going to just quickly add that, and you can see the word fire just appearing. I'm just going to different areas, just make it sort of like burning around. Very very loose. And you can control this by just the pressure, just adding pressure. And you can see the the actual spray or particles that are obviously created just being changed and modified as you just control. Now, right, so I've actually got the fire, the word fire now, just this general sort of flame in the background. Now I can actually modify that, I can actually apply a bit of a glow. I'm just gonna sort of glow. It's quite strong, but I should modify that. Click OK. So you've got a bit of a glow, and again. You can still continue to add a bit more just to give a bit more structure to it and you can add more layers so i can actually just create another layer and then add flames that give it a bit of depth in terms of this so, so just going to go to a layer and a new layer and i can add some more flames to that but in this one i'm actually just going to just concentrate the flame more actually around the text i just want it just so i'm just very very focused just there you can and again you can and then just have the flames that spin upwards around the text and you're noticing it's not actually touching the, the actual text at all it's actually so again just go over here uh, catch up with itself it's still processing the flames so just go up there again just and then just loosen just slightly lighter just so it can give a sort of more loose flame from that fire and again just there just around the edges of follow the, the loosely the the actual text so it's burning upwards and you've got a flame firing up going up again from the and now to the F right so you've actually got that and again I can apply another slight blur or glow I should say just so doesn't have to be that strong click OK right so I've actually just got that now what I'm gonna do I can actually go over here and I can add another layer because I want this layer to be in front of the fire so obviously you don't want the fire the word fire of course could have that but I'm just gonna change the opacity so it's just it's actually quite low already so seven so and then just very loosely follow the text again but just not totally obscure the word just and this is on the top layer so it's just wrapping around the, the letters. You don't want it to completely obscure the letter. You won't be able to read the word fire. Again, you could apply more effects. So I just glow again. Click OK. Right, so you've actually got the flames there. Now, of course, you can also just go to the word fire. And if you want to actually have that a bit of a burning effect, go to glow. And I'm just going to ramp it up to the. Stay there, yeah, and just make that sort of click OK, and there you have it. Quick and uh, quite interesting flame effect for with text in Flame Painter 3 Pro. Hope you found this of interest.